Here we are on Tuesday, August 31st, 2021. Microsoft announces today that Windows 11 is going to be available for the general public on October 5th, 2021. But hold on a minute. I guess some people are going to be disappointed because that's for you, 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 and you there, but not for you, 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 and you. Let's go look at the details because this is a little tricky. I think some people are going to be disappointed. And I'm going to acknowledge my subscriber, Gary Wiesenberger, for bringing this to my attention, being the first to send this to me. And here's the URL, the address for this. And I'll put a link in the show notes or the description of this video so that you can click on it. Blogs.windows.com slash Windows experience forward slash 2021 forward slash 08 forward slash 31. That's today. Windows 11 available on October 5th. Let's go look at the details because there is some interesting information. Windows 11 available on October 5th. Today we are thrilled to announce Windows 11 will start to become, start to become available on October 5th, 2021. On this day, the free upgrade to Windows 11 will begin rolling out to eligible Windows 10 PCs and PCs that come preloaded with Windows 11, meaning you buy a new computer and it comes preloaded with Windows 11. Will start to become available for purchase. Now, let me read that sentence a little clearer, okay? On this day, the free upgrade to Windows 11 will begin rolling out to eligible Windows 10 PCs and PCs that come preloaded with Windows 11 will start to become available for purchase. So that date you can start buying computers preloaded with Windows 11. A new Windows experience, Windows 11, is designed to bring you closer to what you love as the PC continues to play a more central role, yada, yada, yada. Here's some highlights of this re release. Well, we've been hearing about those highlights for quite a while, nothing really new here, but this does summarize what they now think are the big deal things to be excited about. But we kind of come down here and look at the but. <laughs> they don't actually use the word but, but there is a but in here. Windows 11 comes with a new Microsoft Store. This is more about the features and the stuff that's coming. Now let's get this scroll down to where we need to look. Uh, they're thanking the Windows Insider community, as do I. Great, thank you for your service. Rolling out the free upgrade to Windows 11 in a phased and measured approach. What? Wait a minute. You mean if I want Windows 11, if I, if I have a computer that's capable, that's qualified, can I, am I assured that I can get it? No, you're not. Look at this here. The free upgrade to Windows 11 starts on October 5th and will be phased and measured with a focus on quality. Read between the lines here. Following the tremendous learnings from Windows 10. What were the tremendous learnings? The tremendous learnings were that a new operating system has some problems. And there was a lot of people resisting it saying, no, I don't want it. These are the tremendous learnings from Windows 10. We want to make sure we're providing you with the best possible experience. Okay, I like that. That means new eligible devices will be offered the upgrade first. That means if you, the way I read this, if you have a recently purchased uh, Windows computer, you're going to be offer it, offered the upgrade first. If you have a computer that's a year or two old, but it meets the technical requirements, are you going to be offered the upgrade? Are you going to be able to upgrade? This is saying maybe not. The upgrade will then roll out over time to in-market devices based on intelligence models that consider hardware eligibility, reliability metrics, age of device and other factors that impact the upgrade experience. So everybody who's been watching this closely are very aware of the CPU requirements 
and the TPM requirements. And a lot of people have looked at their computer and said, yes, I am qualified. Are you going to be able to upgrade on this date? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, we expect all eligible devices to be offered the free upgrade to Windows 11 by mid-2022. So that means if you have a computer that is technically capable, meets the requirements of Windows 11, you might not be offered the free upgrade but until mid-2022. Now, it says we expect all eligible devices to be offered. What about seekers? If you know your computer is capable, can you go seek it, go ask for it? I think that probably will be the case because, for instance, if you go to the media creation tool on Microsoft's website, will you be able to install or create installation media for Windows 11? This doesn't really tell us that. It uh, puts a cloud over it at best. If you have a Windows 10 PC that's eligible for the upgrade, Windows Update will let you know when it's available. Okay, but can I go seek it? Can I go try to grab it? Or do I have to wait till Windows Update lets me know when it's available? Well, we don't know that yet. So watch out for that before you get your hopes up too high for this October date. You can also check to see if Windows 11 is ready for your device by going to Settings, Windows Update, and select check for updates. There's still the possibility, I think, if you do this, is if you go check for updates and it does not offer you Windows 11, you might still be able to go to the media creation tool and create installation media for Windows 11 and perform an in-place upgrade. And when it when that date rolls around, if that if we can do that, I will show on my channel how to do that. And I think that's probably, well, now here they make a strong pitch to get people to go buy new computers. Ready to elevate to Windows 11? There's never been a better time to purchase a new PC. October 5th is right around the corner. There are a few things you can do to get ready for Windows 11. First, if you're in need of a new PC now, don't wait. You can get all the power and performance of a new Windows 10 PC and upgrade to Windows 11 for free after the rollout begins on October 5th. I think this notice is, uh, is clearly stating if you go buy a new computer right now that has Windows 10 on it, you will be one of the first because they made that clear. The, the new computers that are qualified for the upgrade will be first in this rollout. We have, we've worked closely with our OEM and retail partners to bring you the powerful Windows 10 PCs today that you will take into the future with Windows 11. Here are a few to check out. And this article actually names a number of the specific models of computers that will first be available for the Windows 11 upgrade and then by October 5th actually be able to purchase it with Windows 11 pre-installed. Now they don't they don't really state one way or the other here whether if you buy one of these does it already have Windows 11 maybe just turned off um, but it actually gives these specific models. Okay so that's it for this video. I just want to put out a quick shout out that yeah Microsoft has announced this. It's going to be all over the news in the next in the next few days, I'm sure. But it, careful here. Not everybody, it looks like, not everybody can get it on October 5th, even if your computer meets the requirements. So even if your computer meets the requirements, it looks like mid-2022 uh, before your computer might be offered the upgrade to Windows 11. All right, that's it. I hope this was useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.